I'm there. I'm going all the way up to there. Pfeiffer Horn. It's gonna be a long hike today. Uh, I'm headed up to Pfeiffer Horn. It is the third tallest peak in Utah. So I'm getting a jump start on this trail. I'm meeting up with a bunch of dudes. Uh, Julian from Discreet and a bunch of his buddies from Petzl. So they're all gonna meet me up at the top. We're gonna film some drone shots. Uh, kind of promoting Julian's Cirque Series races, which I'll link below. So it's gonna be super cool, but this is a long hike and they're all gonna run it. It's supposed to be a total of seven hours round trip and they do it in three and a half. So I'm gonna try to get there before they do. The thing about this hike is that it's supposed to be nine miles out to the peak and back with the 4,000 foot elevation gain, which is pretty huge. But online everyone says, and I've got buddies, Andy Cowley, he was supposed to come with me, but it's not gonna work with him today. He said that it takes seven hours at least. And Julian says he's done it in three and a half. I'm not gonna be doing it in three and a half, but we'll see. The other issue is that it is currently 4.45 p.m. And if I actually do this even in five hours, that means I won't be back to my car until 10 p.m. So it's gonna be a late one. Last year, Julian and I did a, did a video hiking the south summit of Mount Superior. I'll link that one below as well. He says that's even harder. So I'm hoping he's right because that was, that was good. That was a good hike. So anyways, let's get to it. I'm getting there, maybe almost a quarter of the way there now, and it hasn't gotten too hard yet. But with the 4,000 foot elevation gain, it's gotta be getting here somewhere soon where it gets really steep. I've seen pictures in the ending, the last push looks especially tough. Julian and those guys are planning on being here around uh, 5.30. It's now 5.15, so I think they're gonna be down at the bottom of the trailhead soon, which means that I've really gotta make a big push to get ahead, or else they're gonna catch up to me and just pass me, so it's time to move a little bit faster. That's where I'm headed, so you can see there's still quite a bit of elevation to gain. Holy crap, that's beautiful. That is the mouth of Little Cottonwood Canyon, so pretty. It's the first break of the hike. I'm getting tie tie. Oh, it's getting steep, but man, it is getting beautiful. Temperature's really good up here. It's probably like 75, 70, 75 degrees over this altitude. It feels fantastic. I'm walking right next to this little stream, so it keeps it nice and cool as well. And I got one of these, I got one of these cooling cloths that you like snap, and it cools you down like the the water vapor. I don't know. It feels really good. I think they work. So. Take my first break, get some water, and some kind of energy food, because my legs are feeling it so much. Look how absolutely beautiful that view is. Starting to see snow. How often do you see snow in July? Well, technically it's still June, but still. I want to go down that bridge, but I gotta go that way. That's my path. Get a little spicy. I'm gonna cross that to the snow up there. <sighs> the whole trail's turning into snow. I think it's gonna freaking blow coming down. <laughs> I don't even know where the trail is, so my fingers are crossed that I'm gonna make it. I've got the GPS thing, so I'm gonna keep going, I guess. Okay, my guess is. I'm about two and three quarters mile, three miles up the trail. It is a total of four and a half miles. So I'm getting kind of close. The topo map shows that the next little bit is gonna be pretty freaking steep. So there might be less B-roll because as you can see, the entire trail is snow, which makes it a little harder to hike. It's gonna be a tough one coming down, that's for sure. Andy, you're 100% right, but it's gonna be sick. The shots up here with the drone are gonna be so sick. Almost to the lake, I'm getting pretty close. It's getting really steep, really slippery, so things are going good that way. Ah, it's also cool up here. We've made it to Red Pine Lake. So Pfeiffer Horn is that peak. So we have to go around this lake, find our way up through there to the ridge line, and then we buzz the ridge line all the way up to the top. As you can see, there is snow the entire way. So this should be very fun. You can kind of see the trail right there. So as soon as you get on the other side of the lake, it's like straight up. And getting to the top of this thing is going to be sick, but it's going to be tough. And can I be honest, I've never ever hiked alone before like this. It's kind of nice, because usually when you go hiking, you end up talking with the people you're with, which makes it a great bonding experience. But man, 
when you don't talk, you save so much energy. Just being able to walk and think and listen to podcasts and music and just chill out is really kind of nice. I don't know if you can see me anymore in the shop, but these might be my dudes. They're all wearing neon clothes and running, so. <laughs> Looks like they finally caught up to me on the home stretch. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little break for a minute until they get here, get some water, dump it in on my camelback, and eat some energy food, because I am totally losing it. I am so tired. Nice finally catching so up, huh? What? Nice hike so far, huh? <laughs> it's actually been pretty good. A little cold on the feet, but, yeah. you know, what can you do? Good to see you, man. You too, how are you? Stoked. Been a while. Yeah, man. It's a flying. Oh, finally caught up. Man, I got jello legs. I don't know how they keep going. I'm so tired. Closer and closer to the summit. It's gotten so steep. So I'm pointing the camera upwards right now. If I want to level it off, that's level. Look how steep that is. This is level right here. That's the ground. That's what we're hiking. Oh, it's tough. There's the other bulls. When we're done, we're going to slide down all these. It's gonna be sick. We're on the home stretch, past all the sketchy snowy parts. There's the peak, I'm gonna get the drone out and fly. That last like 30 seconds of drone shots made this entire hike worth it. Now they're headed to the actual peak of where is it? They're headed to the actual peak of Pfeiffer Horn and I gotta go catch up, I'm way behind now. Oh, it's so sick up here. Slightly bad news though. So they're already at the peak. Let me see if I can spot them. I'm not sure if you can see them on there or not, but they're already to the peak. I'm here for the drone shots, so I'm gonna film them peeking out right there. And uh, because of the drone shots bit down there taking so long, they ran and I'm not able to catch up before the sunset. So I'm just gonna get the drone shots. I don't know if I'm actually gonna take the summit of Pfeiffer Horn. So anyways, back to more drone shots right now. We're all done. They're down hiking the summit. I never got to it. That's a huge bummer to me. It's just another reason to come back and do this again. We had to get the shots. The shots were more important than me summiting. And I'm freaking tired, so I was fine with that. So, but look how pretty it is up here. I'm gonna put the camera away right now and uh, we're gonna make sure we get down safe instead of dealing with all this crap because it gets pretty steep right there. Holy crap. One more majestic sunset shot before we gotta go. See, it's times like this that I fully don't understand why people want to leave Salt Lake City or Utah in general. I mean, this is what we have to offer. Look at this, it's freaking beautiful. And people wanna leave, <laughs> can you believe that? Okay, they're all up there still. They're uh, just getting up there. So I'm gonna get the drone back out and we're gonna film them sliding down that little crevice. As soon as they get here, we're gonna get the drone shot. They're gonna come down and then we essentially get a ski down this entire thing all the way down to the bottom. Dude, that was, I love sliding down that. That was so good. Yeah, that's a fun, fun last part of the yeah. trip. Do Polar you, bear club. Do you no. have a headband, Caleb? No. Yeah, I do. If it was okay. four Thanks. hours earlier, I'd be, I'd be first. <laughs> Jumping right in. Did you see how blue it was? It was beautiful. Back to where it all began. Sorry, hour notice, but you want to come do five? In fairness, it was two hours. Okay, two hours. Okay. That's plenty of time. It might have been two and a half. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't show <laughs> Yeah, there you go. I didn't, I didn't see your hand when you did that. <laughs> well, guys. Yeah, dog. Oh, sorry, I got the wrong hand. Let's go. Real, I'll give you a good one. <laughs> Let me know next time. Right, I'll uh, try to be more prepared well, for it. Right? <laughs> it's good to meet you guys. Yeah, you guys. We'll see you around. So I don't think I ever concluded the vlog last night. Basically, I just drove home. I made it home pretty late, about midnight. Got in the shower, went to sleep. All in all, it was a fantastic day. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the footage. If you did, subscribe below or leave a comment, like the video, anything helps. Uh, so yeah, just uh, continue enjoying it. Four more for life, baby. See ya!